SGC here, and we're back. Final impression, Parks and Recreation Season 7 and Series Finale. Whoa. But first off, let's just talk about this last episode. It was amazing. It was a great send-off. It was just tear-jerking, oh my goodness, goodbye, Parks and Rec cast. As a season itself, 13 episodes is really short. I wish they had a full season, but it's sort of the jump that they did for the 2017. That was an amazing thing. And I would say season 7 was just great fun. It was just knowing that these people were going to leave, they put a lot more umph behind every episode. It was released two episodes a week. It was just great fun. And and I seriously swear, Parks and Recreation will be the new standard of future tech, like how Back to the Future was for 2015, guaranteed. But yeah, really, jumping back to the last episode, it was just great. Seeing all these send off, doing future, even more future stuff as in where they end up and stuff. I really love the fact that they made it not obvious where Leslie and Ben w ended up. It was just like, there's a secret service guy, like, you know, higher, super high up, people do have secret service protection. Could they be the family? Who knows, but I'm just, yeah, it, it's really hard to say goodbye, but this last season was just jam packed of great awesomeness that I'm like, yes. I'm sad, but I can let you go. Compare this to, say, The Office. I would say The Office last season wasn't spectacularly great every episode. But, you know how the whole Mark and documentary, I compare Office and Parks and Rec because they're so similar when they when Parks and Rec first came out. So yes, now the entire series. I would say it's a great growth. Everyone grew here. Ron should just be in every movie. He is great. He needs to be... Not needs to be, but he should be. Like, people should just sign him up for stuff. Him showing up, doing his Ron Swanson thing would just be golden. And if he's ever in a main cast for a movie, I am down for that. Totally there. Just for everybody here. April Ludgate has tons of growth. She's the most weirdest person I've seen on a TV series set in a sort of semi-serious tone. She's just great fun, and she carried it throughout, and she met... And Dwyer and Chris Pratt totally in this show grew and blew up to fame. Guardians, Jurassic Park, and even maybe Indiana Jones. But I swear, everyone here should just do their keep on doing their thing. Like, it's just great. I do hope the creators come back maybe in a year or two with something great as well. I can't wait for what they're going to cook up for us next. But yeah, Parks and Recreation, thank you for all the laughs and all the joys. Yes. Season 1 was very hard to get through, but it was all worth it. It was all worth it. And, and it was just fun. Everyone was just great. I loved the acting, loved the jokes, the story progression, the arcs. And yeah, it was just awesome. I am i can't believe I'm doing another series finale. It's, it's sad to go. Seven years now. I can't believe it's been seven years. It, it's kind of nuts. But you're finally done. And... Amy Poehler, thank you for bringing this. Thank you for producing this. Cannot wait to see what you have for us next. And just I say that to everybody on this cast. It was just great to grow and just to learn. And, and it's just definitely, it was just great. Like this series was just great, really great. Different sort of setting, learn new stuff about how government, parks and stuff, just the whole inner relationships, the growth of characters, how to write things, how to stage things, and how to act. It was just perfect. I would say 10 out of 10, this series has been great. Yes, 10 out of 10, perfect, but you know, perfect has its issues as well. But seriously, this, this series has really ended on a great note, and, and it's just great, and I'm going to end it there. So there you have it. Goodbye, Parks and Recreation. Final impression. Parks and Recreation Season 7 and Series Finale. Out!